Hi guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you uh, with my own garden this time, just how sensitive solar lights are to sunlight. So how much sunlight they get versus how long they're gonna stay on for. So let me go and show you. So down this side of the fence, we've actually got some solar lights and they're already off. I mean, this is a north facing garden. The sun rises over there. So they're actually on the side of the fence that doesn't get much sun as it is. They're all off. Then if we go over to here, again, still north facing garden, but um, down the side of the house, that's south. So the sun actually comes over there. So this fence gets more sunlight uh, than the other fence. But as you can see, and I don't know if it picks it up very well, these um, aren't shining as brightly as they normally do. So they'll probably be off in like the next half an hour. But if we go down the side of my garden, please excuse the mess. Um, one moment. Um, the ones in the south facing garden that are getting much more sunlight than any of those, they're still bright and shining. They're still, they're still glowing. So um, it just really shows how dependent on sunlight they are and how sensitive they are to it. So those three bright and shining. And then here, I don't know if the camera picks it up very well, but much dimmer, bright, and much dimmer that's just purely because they're bit the sunlight is being blocked by the house and um but we do get the sun shining down here um, whereas just over here nada gone um, and that's just because they don't get as much sunlight as the rest so I hope that makes a little bit more sense into just how sensitive solar lights are in terms of how much direct sunlight they get yes they do charge in standard daylight but just nowhere near as well. That direct sunlight is really going to make a difference. Um, so as much direct sunlight as possible, um, maybe move your solar lights. If you're finding it's not staying on for very long, sometimes just moving it yeah, to a different spot in your garden, like you saw in my own one, makes a world of difference. Um, even if it is in a south-facing garden, um, my advice would be just keep an eye on them over the course of a few days, because I've made the same mistake in my own, going, why is it turning off already? You know, it's in it's in a south facing garden. It's got so much sunlight. And one day I just happened to be looking out. The sun was beaming down. Oh, glorious day. And where I'd put the solar light was um, actually in the shade when I was looking out. And I thought, you're joking. Um, it was actually on the side of the fence. So even though the sun was shining into the garden, it actually wasn't shining onto the solar light because of where the sun Oh, I was so annoyed. So I've moved it and it, it performs much better. So my best advice is just to keep an eye on them. Um, other than that, it is very dark outside and uh, I'm going to go enjoy my evening watching TV. Um, so yeah, have a lovely day slash evening whenever you're watching this. And uh, yeah, keep an eye on those cider lights.